there's no meaning to any of this. So I, uh, I wanted to find the most meaningless thing that I could come to and join, and, uh, and, uh, and here I am. Although Jim Carrey has been more than happy to share his facial hair progress during the global quarantine, he's a little more low-key about where he's currently living. The funny man has voiced how tired he was of Hollywood in the past, but despite this, he still owns his main mansion in Brentwood, Los Angeles, he purchased over 20 years ago. In this video, we'll look at Jim Carrey's houses, including his main home, where he's thought to have other properties these days, and more. Jim Carrey is a Canadian actor, comedian, writer, producer, and artist. Now, he's always been my boyfriend, Michael's fave actor and when we met he told me every fact about him. I swear he even showed me where Jim's dad is buried close to Hamilton. That being said, I'm dedicating this vid to Michael. At the time of this recording, Jim is 58 years old and he's really come a long way from his humble beginnings. He's known for his energetic slapstick performances and he definitely has a goofy comedy style unlike any other. From landing his role in the show in Living Color to starring in many hit comedies through the 90s like The Mask and Dumb and Dumber, his career just carried on successfully from there. But today we're focusing less on that and more on his real estate. It's easy to forget that Jim is so wealthy because he seems to be so against vanity and being super materialistic. Regardless, he's amassed a net worth of an estimated $150 million and is on the list of the richest comedians in the world. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at the places Jim Carrey has called home over the years, including his longtime property in LA and more. Sources say that these days Jim likes to spend more of his time somewhere in Hawaii. Why, but we'll talk about that a little later. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Adam Sandler and John Krasinski and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. As always, I want to hear from you in the comments down below. I need you to let me know who to do next and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. After acquiring a certain distaste for Hollywood and its vanity, it only makes sense that Jim would unload some of his properties close by. For some years, he had more than one place in Los Angeles, including this gorgeous Malibu beach house. It was located in the 24-hour guarded gates of Malibu Colony, where I believe Leonardo DiCaprio has or used to have a place too. Either way, it's a neighborhood popular with celebs. Since it's Malibu, of course, Jim's previous home was oceanfront and sat right on the water. It was on the modest end in terms of size, spanning 2,000 2,866 square feet of living space, but it still had 5 beds and 5.5 bathrooms. There was also an additional staff suite. A narrow walkway runs along the attached two-car garage here leading you to the front door, and once inside there's a tile-floored entryway leading to the open main floor. The two-story contemporary style beach house had an open plan living room, family room, a dining room, and kitchen area that opened to the deck outside, facing the ocean of course. From listing photos, we can see the interior had a lot of artsy and modern accents. Jim being the artist that he is, I wonder if these touches came from him or another owner of the home. The master suite that Jim used to call his was bigger than most and offered a head-on ocean view, fireplace surrounded by custom cabinets, a built-in flat screen TV, large ensuite bathroom, and walk-in closet. Not to mention this bedroom had direct access to a glass reel balcony. Other features of the Malibu house included a built-in wet bar, floor-to-ceiling glass doors, and a large deck perfect for lounging outside. Also outside Jim's previous home, there's an outdoor dining area, a surfboard storage area, built-in barbecue center, and sunbathing platform. Apparently, the deck has some sort of removable privacy walls in case you want to tan naked or something, or just to hide from the paparazzi. Perhaps the nicest feature of Jim's Malibu house was a third-floor roof terrace. Here, there were more sunbathing loungers, an above-ground hot tub, and according to the listing, some mood lighting. But as I mentioned, a few years back, Jim decided to sell the place. He listed it at just under 15 mil, but in the end lowered the asking price to about 13.95 million. As I mentioned, Jim has long continued to own a home in Los Angeles, which serves as his main residence. He's one of those actors who's known for being very private, and for that reason, there have only been a handful of photos released of his mansion over the years. What we do know is that Jim's estate is located in Brentwood, Los Angeles, which is a quiet and upscale neighborhood on the west side of LA. It's full of tree-lined streets and large lots, offering plenty of privacy for celebs. Some of Jim's Brentwood neighbors would include Dr. Dre and John Travolta and his fam, among others. 
Jim purchased this mega mansion back in 1994 for only 3.8 million and used his earnings from Dumb and Dumber to invest. Clearly, he's called this place home for over 20 years. In early 2000, he also dropped an additional 1.7 million on the one acre lot next door with separate but connected gated entrance. This land also had a small parking area, plenty of grassy lawns, and a plaza sized entertainment terrace. His main home spans 8,208 square feet of living space and has five beds and nine baths. There's also an additional guest house located in front of some tennis courts, but we don't know much else about the interior. Apparently, Jim's LA mansion is a ranch style house, which we can also see from aerial views. In 2018, he invited the Hollywood Reporter into his home for an interview, where they said he was currently living by himself. According to him, the inside of his home is now a shrine to his second career as a visual artist, overflowing with paintings, drawings, and sculpture. In that same interview, Jim even explained why he decided to focus on his art other than acting for a while, saying, I just didn't want to be in the business anymore. I didn't like what was happening, the corporations taking over and all that. And maybe it's because I felt pulled toward a different type of creative outlet, and I really like the control of painting. Anyways, back to the house. Jim's estate has a vast U-shaped layout and the land is definitely definitely large in size. On his property, we can see that there's a beautifully laid out swimming pool and spa, as well as an expansive tennis court. Jim may not be so fond of Hollywood and the industry anymore, but he can definitely keep himself low key thanks to the extensive privacy of this place. His property is completely surrounded by lush trees, providing a forest-like feel while shielding him from surrounding or nosy neighbors. There are large trees at the front of the home too, which act as a natural barrier. One is even so big that it covers the view to the neighboring mansion almost completely. Despite Jim snagging this mansion for under $4 million back in the 90s, if he ever decides to sell, the price would have more than doubled. Not to mention he added on that attached property. These days, Jim could get $8.3 million easily for the main house alone. It's also said that Jim owns a New York penthouse, but I have yet to confirm this is true. Back when he was selling his Malibu spots, reports claim he was house hunting in Manhattan looking at some pretty posh places in the $5 to $8 million price range. He was even looking at a titanic sized triplex penthouse in Brooklyn's Dumbo Hood for a whopping $19 million. but he never bought it. Jim had leased plenty of posh spots in the city prior to this, like one in the far west village, and I guess after that he thought he'd look for somewhere to call his own. Sources say he checked out a townhouse in the Chelsea neighborhood that had an asking price of about 13.6 million. If Jim does in fact own a place in Manhattan, this is apparently the one. Some websites report Mr. Carey owning this $13 million plus duplex penthouse in Chelsea, which spans over 7,000 square feet of space. It also has six beds, six baths, and four half baths, laid among six separate floors. The estate was built way back in 1824 and completely renovated to look modern and polished. The ground level of the home has a state-of-the-art chef's kitchen and a private outdoor garden. There's a glass wall to give an indoor-outdoor vibe on this floor too. The garden has a huge privacy fence which would have been perfect for Jim. A large private elevator in the home brings you to the first floor open living room area. The master suite sits on the second floor of this home and has not one but two full-size bathrooms. Jim's master bedroom also has a huge upper level window dressing room. There's an additional kitchen, large parlor and family room on the fifth floor too. Finally, the sixth floor has a solarium which is attached to two north and south facing terraces. On the roof, you're able to see New York's famous skyline views. Like I said, I don't know if I believe that Jim still does or ever did own this place, only because he's super private and never confirmed it, and he's not spotted there frequently. Either way, he can definitely afford it, so it's still possible. So now we've looked at Jim Carrey's homes, what we know about them anyways, and I can say for sure that he still owns his longtime mansion in Brentwood, Los Angeles. As for the others, some he's sold and some we don't even know if he really lives in. It's also said that when Jim isn't in LA, he spends most of his time in Hawaii. It makes sense that he has a home there because he's been spotted here often over the years, even back when he was still with Jenny McCarthy. Although we have yet to see this house, Jim has a place on the island of Maui near the luxury resort community of Wailea, which is actually the only place I've ever visited in Hawaii. In 2017, the website Jim Carry Online confirmed that he's indeed a Maui resident. At a party in the area, Jim announced the news himself. He bought a house 
house there on the sandy shores of Makina, right on the water, and some of his art is even on display at the nearby Wyland Gallery. Not to mention, the Canadian funny man has also kept a cottage on Baptiste Lake near Bancroft, Ontario. It's a super private waterfront oasis, but of course, Jim has to have a getaway place near his hometown. He's often spotted flying in and out of Peterborough Airport on his private jet. After seeing Jim's homes, what did you guys think? I wish we could see more inside his current homes, but we gotta respect the man's privacy. I also would love to know what his cottage looks like. Be sure to let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!